Martinez. This shot is for your sellout at the El Paso Bank. In that poker game when you called at me, you recall that? You cost me a lot of money. I'm coming closer this time, Johnny. <laughs> and this is because you killed my friend, Francisco Rodriguez. And for a woman you take away, Rosita. All right, I'm tired of playing games. This time, I'm gonna aim at your heart. Hold your fire, put down that rifle, the Rangers. Logar. You aren't going to kill this man. He's a prisoner of the Rangers. Colonel Stewart sent me out special to bring him in. Thank you, man. Welcome. As long as he gets what's coming to him. I don't care who does it, as long as they kill him. Whether it's by hanging or shooting. It's the same to me. And one thing more. I want half the reward. Okay. You'll get half the money when they finally execute him. Bueno. I believe you. But I need that reward money, Ranger. So hang him soon. All right, untie him, amigos. I'll put the shackles on him. My orders are to bring you in alive, but you better take it easy. Because I'd be gratified to have an excuse to shoot you, Johnny. <sighs> what if they could draw me? Over in Colonel Stewart's office. Johnny. Would you like to see him, sir? Well done. Send him in.
Hello, Johnny. Don't you think you ought to thank me for saving your hide? You must have had your reasons. Thanks anyhow, Colonel. Nothing. Heard you were in trouble. You saved my life, Colonel, but that wasn't the reason. No, it wasn't. I've got to stop O'Connor. Not he... a chance, Colonel. O'Connor's an old pal. You'll do it all right because you must. There's a price on your head. You're wanted for murder. You better do just what I'm asking you to, or by all that's holy, I'll hang you, Johnny. Come back here. You're acting like a fool. Here's a chance to clear the slate, and you worry about a rat like O'Connor. Besides, you've no choice. Come here. No wagon trains in almost a year. I've gotten through that pass. It's completely controlled by O'Connor, and we can't get through there by force. They outnumber us almost two to one. Anyway, that canyon's almost impregnable. We'll buy him out. He'll do anything for money, you know. But bear in mind, the pass has got to be open, one way or another. It'll be your job to find the best way of doing it. You think you can handle it? Why can't your men deal with O'Connor? <laughs> You'll do it better. Please, let me go with you. Rosita. Yes. business I want to discuss with you. <laughs> Colonel Stewart's business, right? He sent you to talk me into getting out of here. Well, you just go and tell Colonel Stewart. The pass is closed. And if he thinks that he can open it, let him come and try. He can, you know it. He hasn't enough men. And besides, you've turned this place into a fortress. But he is ready to pay you to let the wagon trains go through. And you get your share. I'm entitled to it. I'm not in this for my health. Johnny. <laughs> He'd sell his own mother for two bits. <laughs> Let's get back to business. She yours? What of it? I was just asking. She's not for sale. You must be quite a girl, Johnny, if you're not willing to sell her. And while we're speaking of money, how much you suppose you'd get from Stewart for my head? A fortune. <laughs> a fortune! <laughs> I bet it would be at that. All right, bring up your wagons. But I want the money. I don't trust nobody when it comes to that. And that includes even you, Johnny. I want that dough. You'll get it. The money's in the wagon train. I'll bring it to you later. Okay. But you better bring it or else. Oh. You're not going, John? Yeah. It's not daybreak yet. Why are you risking your life? How much did you get from Stuart Johnny to clear this pass? None of your business. Oh, but Johnny. Now, you be nice. 
I don't like to be questioned. So be nice. See you later. Be nice, I'll show you! I hope I'm there to spit on your grave when they hang you! You're the only one who'll weep for me, Rosita. Oh, no. No, Johnny. Johnny. Don't go, please, Johnny. I'm so frightened. Please, There's nothing go. to be afraid of, Rosita. I'm just gonna make sure everything's all right. Don't sneak up on a body like that, Johnny. You might get yourself killed. It is pretty dangerous, isn't it, Mooney? Yes, it is. Tell me, Mooney. Yeah? Have you been in love lately? Nope, not lately. But I can recall when I was. It seemed like I could reach up and touch all the stars in heaven. <laughs> and that's how you feel tonight, ain't it? Keep a good look out tonight, Mooney. <laughs> ain't nothing gonna get by here, Johnny. <laughs> Go in there, Johnny. It's too late. What happened to her? You can't help Get her. Get out of my way. Don't go in there, Johnny. Let me go. Rosita. There'd be one of these eight men here, that's for certain. It'd be too much trouble to try and pick out the right one. And there ain't none of them would be worth keeping alive anyhow. <laughs> nice shoot. Why don't you come and join up with us, Johnny? That'd be hot, wouldn't it? You and me together, Johnny, huh? Oh, and Johnny, tell Colonel Stewart the pass is open now. For any wagon train. That gives me the same price you did. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Anytime you have any more of these deals, bring them around. That money's good. Adios, amigo. Rangers, an officer, and four wagons, and I hear they're carrying dynamite. When do you think they'll reach the valley? Sundown tomorrow. Get everything ready. I thought you made a deal to let them wagon trains through the pass, O'Connor. That's true. For Stewart should have paid us more. And you have a big mouth, you know? Get him out of here.
How you been? How's everything going? Not so good lately, Johnny. I got Colonel Stewart and the Rangers. They're chasing us on the one hand and that rat O'Connor cutting us out on the other. Throw in with us, Johnny. Maybe our luck will change. <laughs> That's it. All right, we gotta get moving if we want to make camp at the waterhole tonight. Better mount up. Right. Roll out! We gotta turn back. He says the pass ain't safe. That's right, Colonel Stewart's orders. Sorry, Major. The bandits are by the pass. So you gotta take the long way. You told us the pass was open, Weston. Our supplies are almost gone. We'll be lucky to get through it all. That means about a week extra, at least. And then these folks will be too late to file for their homesteads. If you imagine that we're just gonna turn around and go back, you can guess again. Let's go have a talk with this Colonel. There were no survivors, sir. The dynamite was stolen. So Johnny's gone back on me. I should have known it. Does anyone know where Johnny is? He was seen in River City just a few days ago. He and Pecos robbed the bank in the stage office. They said he seemed to be drunk. By the time we got there, Colonel, they Colonel, had a clean getaway. Colonel Stewart! What the Stewart. devil is it? Is Colonel. that any way to report Foley? What is it? Sir, Major Weston and some of the people from his wagon train to see you. Send them in. Yes, sir. Major! Something wrong, Major? It sure is. I'm afraid you don't understand what closing down that pass is liable to mean to us. We have to go through, Colonel. We're running out of money and food as it is. If we go back now, we're never going to get there. We've got everything that we own tied up in that wagon train back there, Colonel Stewart. Give all the orders you like to your rangers. I'm not under your command. We're going. We're going to go through that pass, Colonel, and it's your job to give us an escort. You're paid to provide protection, aren't you? You've got a big mouth, lady. Don't tell me my duty. Get out! I'm going to take the train through that pass. Tomorrow, Colonel, with or without your consent, I'm rolling it south. Get out! Out! Come here. I want Johnny Texas. Bring him in. You'd all be happy, I know, to bring in his body. But I want him alive. Now get going. Pecos, I'm sorry, but I think it was a mistake for me to join up with you. Give me what you owe me. Okay, Johnny. Think whatever you like, but I didn't cross you. And what is this? 
Why did O'Connor attack that train? Because O'Connor wanted to get that dynamite, I guess. He had no intention anyhow of keeping the truce. I should have done something about it. But then after Rosita was killed, I didn't care about anything. <laughs> Rosita. She was an alley cat. I'm sorry, I mean, I'll make you eat those words. Cut me loose. No, you don't. Just stay put, Johnny, or I'll shoot. If you behave, we can talk sensible. Okay. Uh, sorry for what I said about Rosita. I know you loved her. I heard about her death. One of our rangers saw the murder. You mean he could have saved her life, but he didn't? He was too late to prevent it. Johnny, did you ever consider that perhaps none of those men who were killed by O'Connor were guilty of the murder of Rosita? Well, in your shoes, I know what I'd do. Avenge Rosita. I'd make O'Connor pay for the killing and also help me out. Help you out and get myself shot? No, thank you, Colonel. Let the Rangers do it. You'd like to get out of this whole dirty business, wouldn't you? But you aren't going to. The only way left to get O'Connor is to detonate that dynamite. And you're the one who'll do it. Do you understand? Sure, there's a chance that O'Connor may kill you. But remember this, Johnny. You're under indictment for murder. And I'm going to hang you, unless you cooperate. So perhaps it's worth the risk. It's easy enough to force me to go there. But that still doesn't mean I'll do anything. You must do it! If not for the sake of Rosita, then think of the women and the children who'll be killed in that wagon train. Another massacre. And only you can prevent it. Well, you'd better or you'll pray that I do hang you before I'm through with you. First, I've got to do something. I want you to let me go for a few days. I'll meet you the day after tomorrow at Fort Nielsen. Well, I don't know. Can I trust you? Maybe you have to trust me. Do I know? But are you going to let me down again? I don't think so. Go ahead, Johnny. We got them all? Sure, they're all dead.
I'm unarmed, Johnny. Give me a chance. Outside my jurisdiction, it's all right. Sam Moore? Move. Dick Parker? Go on. Peter Lopez? You too. Get back. Those your men? They are. But, Colonel, I want your word about something. These men are going to help me do your dirty work, so you're going to let them out of jail a few days. That isn't fair. I think you ought to set them free for good. It's a deal. Free them! You heard me? All right, come on. Go on! All right, come on. Right, right away. This contains all your instructions. Memorize and destroy it. Somewhere this side of the pass, you'll join up with Major Weston's wagon train and the Rangers. Get into O'Connor's hideout somehow and destroy the dynamite. And within two or three days, it's urgent. Some renegades are trying to buy it. They might tear up the whole border if they ever got loose. And exactly how do you expect me to go about this job, Colonel, of setting off the dynamite without detonators? I'll get them to you, through one of our undercover agents. An agent? Well, I know who he is. <laughs> there shouldn't be any trouble. My agent knows who you are. As identification, he'll carry one of our regular star-shaped badges. If you happen to get the notion you're not being paid enough for the work, uh, I might up the ante. Just do this job for me, Johnny, and I promise you, you write your own ticket. agent will be joining up with Major Weston's train tonight. Keep an eye out, but only make contact in the most extreme emergency. It's going to be an extremely tough assignment and dangerous. I realize that, sir. And you couldn't have picked a better person to do it. <laughs> Can you imagine... That'll be all, ride? Lieutenant. Now just keep your eyes open and follow your orders. That's all. Yes, sir. How much you reckon this stuff is worth? Hold it, how much? We'll pay every cent of it we've got. With this dynamite in our hands, we control the whole border. How much? Six thousand in gold. Ralph? Right. <laughs> Brings them around like bees to sugar. Be a whole lot of others. Here you are, Major. This will pay for everything. I'd like to go along with you in the wagon train. Okay. We'll find a comfortable wagon for you, and if you, uh, you like someone to, uh... I'll think about it. You just keep away from our men, sister. You're not back in your dance hall. Don't you worry about me and your men. I don't see any here who interest me. And if you just keep it like, that'd be a lot easier.
Major Weston? Yep. Hmm. How long have you been camping here? Four days now. But we've had enough. We're all tired of waiting around for an escort. And I don't think we're going to get any help from Colonel Stewart. You want to get us all killed? If you take the train through that pass now, you will be. Hold on a minute. I didn't say I wouldn't wait. I said I was tired of waiting, but I got it. I know that. Who's that? Who is she? Lucia Cancino. She was a dancing girl in a saloon in Silver City. Things got a little too hot for her there. She decided to join up with us. Just now, she don't seem too friendly. Most of these girls aren't like that, but who knows? Maybe this one's reform. <laughs> Hey, let's see some action. How about it? I don't want to. I got something here that just might induce you. For enough money, I'll do it. Ah.
something put your pistol back in your holster and tell me then what to do ranger okay of this valley for pretty near a month now. If we don't see action pretty soon, we're gonna get stale. We gotta lie low. If we stick our heads out, they'll blast us. Get out of here, all of you. Uh, boss, you know what I was thinking? We should have kept that truce with us. <laughs> Why should I let a man like that bother me? Mm. You never could stand anybody pushing you around, Johnny, as far back as I can remember. Well, he won't do no more pushing now. May the Lord have mercy on his soul. Mercy. Amen. Hey, Johnny, why did you get us out of jail? It's kind of obvious, Johnny, or something you want us to do. Just uh, what is it you got in mind, huh? I ain't exactly curious, but... We're going in after O'Connor. Impossible. Yes, it is for anyone else, but not for me. It could be tricky. A matter of finding the right moment. When do we go? I'd like to get started tonight. Sam? I figure you're the best shot here. Your job will be to knock off O'Connor's sentries. Or pin him down, at least. Got it. And you, Pete, you're a pretty good horse thief if you didn't get rusty in jail. I want you to drive off all their horses as soon as you hear Sam's signal. Gotcha. And you, Dick. You kill the sentries guarding the dynamite at the magazine. But remember, wait till Pete starts driving those horses so okay, they won't notice Jerry. you. Okay, right? The idea is for you three to keep him busy while I make my move. Just a second. Finish, Johnny. If we're gonna do it right, we'd like to know everything, huh? Yeah, all right, Sam, but later. Mm. Well, I still ain't sure what he wants to do. But it's going to be tough. <coughs> Real tough. I see that you left the train. No, they threw me out. Where are you going? Where are they going? Through the pass. No one goes through there alone. <laughs>
Have you brought the detonators? Here they are. Be careful, Johnny. There's enough explosive in those cases to blow us all to El Paso. I know. Here. I'll let you hold on to them. Why don't you tell me who you were last night? It was impossible. Your men were watching me. I can't understand how come Colonel Stewart sent you for this. This is no job for a girl. I'm sorry, that's your opinion of women. Not all women. I was acting last night to cover my identity so I could accomplish my mission. I have traveled over 400 miles to deliver your detonators. All right, it was my air. You can stay with us. But you keep right on pretending. Or else my men are going to get suspicious. All right. Don't let them think you're anything but what you acted like last night. <laughs> What's that girl doing here? I like her. Sure. We all like her. I hope you ain't gonna be selfish about it, Johnny. You know what I mean? Don't worry, Dick. Johnny's only selfish about dough. We all share, right? Not unless she feels like it. Nothing doing. Why shouldn't she? <laughs> she ain't no Lily, you know. She worked in a dance hall. She's used to it. Okay. So we all get a fair chance at it. We'll gamble. The bones will decide right. fair and okay, square. That's fair. Hi, man. One roll. Let's go. Let's go. All set. Beat. Ah, come on, Dice. Ah. Three. Sam. Hmm. Should I bother? Go ahead. You'll win. Go ahead. Eight. Water the horses. Go on. Ah, craps never was my game. Hold it right there, Johnny. We gotta talk. Uh, that wasn't very nice of you, Johnny, trying to put one over on us like that. Calling your own game and then winning it. With loaded dice, too. You know that ain't honest? Sam, I had a feeling that you'd notice. You sure did. If you won't tell him, I'll give you $50. Here. It's a deal. And if there's anything else I can do for you. Oh. If you're still alive before the explosion, open this and read the letter. You ought to do just what I've written. I'm not just interested in setting off that dynamite. O'Connor has something there much more interesting. What? You'll find out. And don't do anything that it doesn't tell you to do in that letter. <sighs> We've got to pretend to make love in case they're watching. You don't like the idea, do you? No. The only thing I don't like is the pretend. That's too bad, isn't it? Just remember, though, it's all in the line of duty. Kiss me. Don't ask me. Oh, please. <laughs> now listen, Lucia. Be sensible about this. You're going to have to stay with me until morning, anyhow. After all, you have no choice. It's me or one of the other men. Remember, it's all in the line of duty. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're a real fine girl. When you work for Colonel Stewart, though, you've got to be hard. You're very beautiful when you cry. Why do you tell me this, when you care nothing about me? Maybe, but even a man without feelings may know when it's time to act sentimental. Oh, Johnny, let's pretend that we met someplace else, a long way from this danger. Are we back to pretending again?
All right, men. We'll wait here. Everyone take his position. But remember, no one's to shoot until I give the order. Is that clear? Johnny! 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 Where is Johnny? How should I know? You were with him. He's gone. Time for all of us getting out of here fast. You're right. There's no right. point in hanging around here. The further we get from them rangers, the better I like it. They could change their minds about freeing us. And you're right about that, Pete. Let's go. Don't move. I'm an agent for Colonel Stewart. I'm carrying the detonator caps for the dynamite. Whether Johnny comes back or not, we'll go ahead. You'll help me as planned with this operation or return to prison. Don't move. Order. She's right. They only turned us loose to do this job. Now get going. Look for tracks. See if you can find out which way he went. Go on, move. Get going. Move. I know you, Sam. I've seen your face many times among the lists of wanted men. I bet you have not forgotten the deaf and dumb language you learned in jail. <laughs> Long time since I've seen you. What's the matter? The truce? Still mad about that? Not mad, O'Connor. What's your proposition? Be worth anything? To capture Colonel Stewart alive, O'Connor? You can hold him for ransom and kill off all his rangers. And for good measure, a pretty girl. And if that ain't enough, there's three ex-cons and they've each got a good price on their heads. That's a real sweet offer. How come you make it to me? Well, for one thing, you're the kind of man to handle a job like this. And that dynamite that you took could be useful for another. O'Connor, if we can bring this thing off, you realize all the money we could get? You and I could both be rich. Well, what do you say? It'll be tough, but it's possible. <laughs> what do you want for your cut? Give me half of what you get for the others, and one quarter of what you get for Colonel Stewart. You're asking a lot, Johnny. And I got a split with all the rest of the men. Still, it's a very interesting proposition. You got a plan? Stewart and nearly all his rangers are camped near here. He's just waiting for my signal. Where are they? Doesn't matter where they are, Connor. The important thing is to get ready, so that you're all set to spring that trap when I lead him through the pass. The other four should be easy. The girl and those jailbirds there. They're camped just a few miles east of here. That's okay. <laughs> Sounds fine to me. Hey, Johnny. Here. Colonel Stewart. What is it? Johnny's at O'Connor's hideout. He and the others, too? No, sir. They were taken prisoner. It's your job to protect her, you idiot. <sighs> Come on, Johnny. You can tell me. Where's Colonel Stewart waiting? Hmm. They're here. Let go of me. No! <laughs> Barry, come on. Oh, I'm coming down. Traitor. If I get the chance, Johnny, I'll kill you. They got me. Take him away. <laughs> Does this woman interest you? Not at all. <laughs> Johnny Texas, a double crosser. He sold us out to O'Connor. We were better off back at Fort Nielsen there when the Rangers had us prisoners. Lousy rat. 
Uh, it's all right, Dick. We'll get out of this all right, you'll see. Yeah, but how? We're in irons. But if your hands were free, free you could yeah, make but it. they ain't free. I'd be willing to give my share of the loot from this job, though, to get my hands free. Now, that's real generous of you, Dick, except we'll probably mm. die before we see any of oh. that. Mm. So what kind of offer is that? All right. Mm. I've got $100 stashed away right here, inside of my belt. You free my hands and I'll give it to you. You'd want it back, though, once your hands You're were doing free. You're doing it. It's worth $100. Not yet. Beat first. Ah. All right. Ah. Turn around. Huh? Go on. I'm blamed if I can figure it's out how you did I it. I tense up my wrist, and then when I let go, the chains are loose. A trick, huh? And you tricked me out of my hundred bucks, Just you little... Just easy, Dick. You made the bargain, and you're going to keep it. Suppose you be a nice fella and let Sam out of there. <laughs> Lay off. All right. Now what? We wait. She says that Johnny's a traitor, double cross and rat. She plans to kill him. Somebody helped her get out. 
She don't know who it was, though. She hid the detonators for the dynamite under her cot. And she hopes that we'll meet again if we all live. Yeah, if we live is right. What's he saying? I said goodbye, and if anyone makes it, I hope she does. Come on, let's get out of here. We can't, the door's still locked. But we can jump them when they come in. If they come in, that is. Say, did I see Johnny giving you something the other night? Mm, nothing. Oh, that, uh, it was just an old gambling debt. around the gully until I signal lie low. Fan out. Deliver it to Colonel Stewart at once. And give me your pistol. But I... Give me your pistol. Hmm. Hey, uh... Anything else you need, Lucia? I'll need a horse as well. Take mine. Thanks. He's rested enough. Where are you going? To the pass. I've got business. Tell the Colonel where I've gone as soon as I can, I'll report. Right. Good luck. <clears throat> give me your rifle. Thanks. She went back to the past to take care of something. Back to the past? Yes. Alone? I knew it stopped her, idiots. It's 
So that's your scheme. I hope it goes all right, Tony. two boxes full of greenbacks. <laughs> Get them out of there if you're still alive. Wait for me in the valley east of the pass above Silver Lake. No matter what happens there, trust me and wait. You're sincerely Johnny.
Johnny and Ocala keep him in sight. Come on, hurry. Yes. Get down ahead or off you too fast.
Jenny. on Rosita O'Connor. Choice. 
Still, that was it. It was this or the gallows at Fort Nielsen. There was no other possibility. That right, Mills? Yes, sir, that's just how it stood, Colonel. It was only a question of how he died. We're going back now to Fort Nielsen. Lucia, you stay here. Stay and bury your man. Report to me tomorrow at Fort Nielsen. Okay. Colonel. Huh? All right, back to the fort. What are you looking for? There's no one else here. And Johnny's dead. I know he is. Come on, let's bury Johnny. Well. There are two coffins in this wagon. We can use one of them. Stuart. Those were blanks he fired. I thought of that trick myself. Oh, you double crosser, you crook! Oh, I'll get you! No, you won't! Oh. <laughs> behave yourself! Oh. oh, you monster! I said behave! Oh. Oh. I'll kill you! I will! Thousands of dollars! <laughs> Hundreds of thousands! Johnny! Johnny! <laughs> Just a second, let me take care of this. I never saw this much money in my whole life. <laughs> Look, thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Get down, Sam. Huh? I said get down, you heard me. Is something wrong? Fast, man. I don't understand. Pray, Sam, because I'm going to kill you. What's wrong, Johnny? Something that I've done? You know that I'm still alive. I'm sorry, but I gotta kill you. But I've done everything you told me, Johnny. Why should you want to kill me? You want it all? All right, here. Take it. Take the money, here. Take it, take all of it, it's yours. But don't kill me, Johnny. Don't beg, Sam. I'm only doing what you'll do to me. No, I'm sorry I didn't kill you the other night when I had the drop on you. You rat! You liar! You! You cheat! You double crosser! Kill me! Go on, shoot! Kill me! Don't! Run, Sam! Run! Thanks, Lucia. That's right. Keep him busy. Goodbye, Johnny. Hurry, Sam! Right, goodbye. I guess I scared him off for good. <laughs> <laughs> 